State ROTC. They ask that you remain standing and the colors have been retired. And meanwhile, the Eagles coming off a hard-fought victory as well, beating Dixie State for the first time in their school history. And Carson Reed kicks this one off in what should be a fantastic showcase. And Lewis Webb, wide receiver, lets this one fall into the end zone for a touchback. So the Eagles defense will come out onto the field and they got a bit more of a balanced offense that they'll be going up against today with Danny Cameron, senior under pressure, fires this one. And another incompletion, and the Eagles are able to walk off the field on defense. And Stevan Brown is set to return this punt from number 12, Matthew Rodriguez. Rodriguez on to punt. Stevan Brown sets to return for the Eagles. And Rodriguez boots this one out to about the 25 yard line before it falls out of bounds. And Danny Cameron gonna look that way, but under pressure and pass falls incomplete across the middle and Eagles force another third down incompletion. So that'll bring up punter. Matthew Rodriguez once again, but Stevan Brown set to return this one. Stevan Brown, speedster out of Casper, Wyoming, going to look to try to make a difference today. And line drive punt. Stevan Brown gets this one at the 40-yard line before taking it to about the 49-yard line. Set to return this kick is number eight, Jaron Manning and Lewis Webb. And Manning takes this one at the 20 yard line before Manning being upended at about the 35 yard line. So the Cowboys get nice field position to start their second drive today, or third drive. And so far, Danny Cameron has done a nice job finding his receivers to the outside. Able to get pressure from the interior of the defensive line. And they force their three and out today, fourth and 18. And we'll see Matthew Rodriguez to come and punt for the third time this afternoon. Another live line drive punt. before being picked up at about the 41 yard line. So Eagles get another Eagles tackles to get into the end zone. And after his touchdown there, Eagles up 14 to nothing with 156 remaining in the first quarter. Carson Reed set to kick this one off. Eagles doing everything they need to so far in this ball game. And Manning will take this one at about the five yard line. And he gets swallowed up by Stevan Brown at the 20 yard line. Eagles special team has been a true threat in the Armac this season. Making life rather uneasy for opponents, always starting deep in their own territory. Also, it's getting close to Halloween. And meanwhile, last night, the Eagles 
big kicker listed at 5'8 for 230 pounds. And the returners are just going to let this one fall into the end zone for a touchback. Kick goes out of the end zone. Here. on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And Stevan Brown back to return this one. Eagles offense is going to try to look to respond to the touchdown. And ball goes into the end zone for a touchback, so the Eagles will take over at the 25-yard line. Offense stalled out after so the Eagles offense stalls out two drives in a row now. Meanwhile, the Cowboys offense really starting to pick up. We'll see if Zach Kozla can net them deep here on this punt. Kozlik on to punt. And Kozlik gets us out to Ella Barrio. He picks this one up at about the 15 yard line. Ella Barrio on the return out to the 26. And after the tackle, Brendan Cole Thurnus Brandon on the ground. The but Eagles. he's able to First get up and, and he's going to walk to the sideline. So everything seems okay with him. Gain of about only three yards on third down, and the Eagles force their second three and out today. So Eagles doing a nice job responding on defense after two consecutive drives allowing touchdowns through the air. Now Seven Brown set to return this punt by Matthew Rodriguez. High punt, and Stevan Brown just fair catches this one. Stevan Brown with the fair catch sets up the Eagles first and ten after the yard line. Manning on the carry, penalty marker, and on we'll the see play. a penalty marker on the play. Personal foul, face mask number four, defense, 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. So the Eagles defense. Cosmic on to punt. El Barrio set to return for the Cowboys. And Zach Koslick punts this one to El Barrio. And rather shorter punt. And they say there's an argument that it made contact with the Highland player, but officials are going to discuss here. But nonetheless, Eagles pick it up at about the 49 yard line. Whether the possession goes to the Eagles or the Cowboys is being discussed right now by the officials. The ruling is. The punt hit Shattered State in the back of the leg. This is first touching. It will be first down, New Mexico Highlands. So Highlands, fortunate there as the ball made contact with the back of an Eagles player's that leg. So 157 remains for Danny first. Cameron working with 50 yards of field to try to get a score before halftime. Furness and Brown set to return for the Eagles. Farfan on to kick off for the Cowboys. So now Israel Farfan set to kick this one off. Eagles special team unit going to try to get some nice field position right before halftime. Eagles working with three timeouts here. And Eagles are going to start their drive at the 25-yard line. Kick goes out of the end zone. So New Mexico Highlands University, your higher education leader in northern New Mexico. Providing students with services to succeed. A friendly and diverse environment. 
set in historical Las Vegas. Adding new age design while bringing excitement with cowboy and cowgirl athletics. New Mexico Highlands University, your future starts here. The Eagles will take the second half kickoff and the Eagles orchestrated an excellent drive to get down to about the 10 yard line from the 25 yard line with just 101 remaining and three timeouts. And Dalton Holst on a fourth and 18 converted a pass to Chad Michelson to extend the drive to pick up the first down and let Will Morgan kick the field goal to give the Eagles just a four point deficit rather than trailing by a touchdown, 17 to 21. In that first half, it was the Danny Cameron show with three touchdowns through the air and 242 yards. Like Tavon Wright and Brennan Fullerton, but that's not to say that Brennan Fullerton has gotten the best of the secondary as well. And the Eagles got to be feeling pretty good about themselves to see their offense move right down the field and score a quick three points. And now we'll start the second half as Israel Farfin kicks this one off. And Cole Furness is going to return this one out about the five yard line and he fakes the reverse to Stevan Brown and wide open running room for Cole Furness. And he fights his way to the 43 yard line. So the Eagles will start the second half with excellent field position. But there are penalty markers on the play and we'll see if it's holding by the return team. After the play, personal foul, number 27, by the kicking team. Let's uh, take the field after this kickoff. And Manning will take this kick out of about the 11 yard line. And he gets upended, head over heels, at the 21 yard line. So the Eagles swarm to the ball carrier on special teams and now Danny Cameron back out onto the field after marching downfield on the previous possessions. Three touchdowns through the air today. State Athletics. And Cole Thurness returns this one at the 10 yard line and tries to bounce to the outside. And he gets to the 35 yard line and we see two flags on the play. On the return, Possible block in the back. The we'll see what the call is. Holding number 89 of the return team. 10 yard penalty, first down. For the Eagles on third and short. And we'll see Zach Kozlik now out to punt the ball punting into the wind. Kozlik on to punt for the Eagles. Elifario set to return for the Cowboys. And punt hits the, or ball hits the ground. And mistimed punt going to fall out of bounds at about the 35, 25-yard line. line. Or excuse me, the ball falls out of bounds at the 30-yard line.
Baffrin set to kick this one off. Club fans set to kick off. Brown Furness on the return. And Stevan Brown is just going to take a kneel in the end zone. Take this one to the 25 yard line. So the Eagles offense slowed down on third and two to a touchdown drive constructed by the Cowboys. And he fields this one at the 13 yard line before running up the middle to the 32 yard line. So after giving up a touchdown, fourth touchdown of the day to Cameron, We'll see how the Eagles defend this season. The new stadium by sporting new gear. We will customize your Shadron State gear by adding names and numbers to your hats and apparel. Afternoon. Carson Reed set to kick deep. And Kevin Coy over 100 yards on the ground now. And kick will be reeled in at about the five yard line. And Tavon right on the tackle. Nice play by the special teams unit to keep the Cowboys outside of the touchback. They'll take over first and 10 at the 16 yard line. So big drive for about a return of over 50 yards for the touchdown. And just a little squib kick here. And TJ Jackson, Jackson takes this one to the 31 yard line. line. First and 10 Cowboys. And Thurness will take this one at the two yard line. He's gonna run right up the middle and he has open running room before being pushed out by the kick. Uh, pressure now on their defense and trust them. That Koslick on to punt for the Eagles. So Zach Koslick punting into the wind. With I believe TJ Jackson set to return Jackson this one. Set to return for the Cowboys. And high spiraling punt. And ball falls out of bounds at the one yard line. Zach Coslett. Outlaw printers. Game day. So biggest play of the Cowboys season on the line right here. To try to upset the Eagles. Due to the penalty, there is not an awarded timeout to New Mexican Highlands. Each team still have three timeouts. So three or four, and it looks like Highlands is going to punt this one. Stephen Brown set to return this. And the ball rolls out of bounds at the 45 yard line, 252 remaining. Eagles offense with the chance to put this one away. And we got ourselves a nail biter here. We'll take a quick 30 seconds. Volleyball will shortly play against Black Hill State University. Uh, this later this afternoon, unfortunately, we will be streaming that one, but catch updates on that. And thank you for tuning in to CSC Live. It's been a pleasure this season for football. That's going to conclude it for football this season. Upcoming next will be basketball, November 16th, and uh, we'll see you next time.